Hello everyone. Today we would make a script that allows us to select multiple sheets, choose a parameter from a list and change it to a new value. We would also implement it with the UI window interface to make it more easier to use. The script would be beneficial if you need to mass change sheet parameters. However, with small modifications, you could also apply it for other categories such as rooms, for example. For the script, we would only use Dataship Extra Package. Let's get started. To start with, let's get all elements of Sheets category. Search for Categories, select Sheets, and get all elements of Category node. Create a group and name it Get All Sheets in the Project. Now search for sheet.sheetNumber and sheet.sheetName nodes. Also create a code block, type down A plus double quotes dash plus B and connect sheet number and sheet name nodes. We would use it to build sheet names for our user interface later. Create a group and name it get sheet names and numbers. With this information, we can start building our user interface window. Search for list view data from data shapes package. This node would create a list of all sheets in the project with specified names to make it easier to navigate. Let's create a name of this list. Create a code block and type double quotes all sheets, write 500 on the next row as well, as we will use it to define a height of this window list. Now connect the sheet name and number output to keys and all elements of category output to values. Search for boolean, change it to true and connect it to highlight in view, show element count and sort items inputs. Get another boolean, change it to false and connect to display mode only and show ID inputs. Create a new group and name it select elements input values. Now let's build second part of our UI window. Right click and search for drop down data. This node would allow us to have a drop down list of values. In our case, it would be all available sheet parameters. Get a code block and type double quotes, select parameter. Also get a boolean, change it to true and connect to sorted input. Now let's obtain all available sheet parameters. Get list.first item node so we don't gather parameters from each sheet. Connect it to all elements of category node and search for element.parameters. If we run Dynamo, you would see all sheet parameters, including project, shared, and inbuilt parameter types. However, most of these parameters are read only, so we need to filter down to the one which we are able to modify. Search for is read only node and list.filter by bow mask. Connect parameter to list input and is read only to mask input. Now we have parameters separated into two lists. We need to use the out list as this is the list with changeable parameters. Get parameter.name node and connect out output to it so we only acquire the name of the parameters without the actual values of it. And connect it to both keys and value inputs of drop down data node. Select new nodes and create a group. Name it Select Parameter Input Value. For the final input value, we need to search for text box data node. Get a code block and type double quotes, type new value and connect it to input name. Leave default text as it is and search for boolean. Keep it false and connect it to its number entry input as you want to be able to input text values and not just numbers. Create a group and name it new input value. Now let's combine these three inputs into one list. Search for list.create node and add two extra inputs. Connect everything accordingly. To create an actual UI window, we need to get a multiple input form node. Connect list.create to inputs, get a boolean, set it to true and connect it to toggle. Get a code block and type double quotes, apply changes, connect it to button text input 
Then on the next row, type double quotes, cancel, and connect to cancel button text input. And on another row, type double quotes, set new parameters, and connect it to description input. Get another code block and type 850, 500, 150, and connect it to max height, width, and label width respectively. Create a group and name it UI window. If you press run now, you will be able to see our UI window. As you can see, we have a list of sheets that you can select, a parameter drop-down list, and a text box where we can type new values. However, if we press apply, nothing would change. The reason for that is because the UI window does not actually make modification itself, but pass the information which then can be used to make modifications. Get a code block and type x square bracket 0, x square brackets 1, and x square brackets 2. Write each value on a new row, so that way we create free outputs. This is just a short version of get item at index node. Now search for element.setParameter by name and connect output at index 0 to element, index 1 to parameter name, and index 2 to value. Also don't forget that because we are passing multiple sheets, we need to change the lacing to longest. Create a group and name it set parameter values. Now the script is done, save it and let's launch it through Dino Player. Open Dino Player and locate the script. For this example, I have some extra shared parameters which we used in my previous video. They're just simple text parameters. If you run the script, you would see our UI window. Let's select all sheets and specify ORI code parameter. Give it a new code like ORI underscore 0001 and press apply changes. As you can see, it instantly changed this parameter on all selected sheets. Let's test it with some other parameters. I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Thank you.